ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ड्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वी आर रियली अमेज थ्रिल्ड एंड एक्साइटेड टू कम टू नो ऑफ स्वामी हिस्ट्रियानिक टैलेंट्स रिवील्ड राइट फ्रॉम हिस्स चाइल्डहुड and he encouraged them in the later period fine arts among students that's what we have been coming to know in the recent episodes i may draw your attention swami's talent display at bukkapatnam a dance troupe happened to visit that area and the center of attraction happened to be a dancing girl year since she would still be remembered but there would be differences of opinion regarding her name she was adept in a particular dance in which with a bottle balanced on her head she would pick up a handkerchief from the floor with her teeth as a finale such a proved that he could not only do the same dance number but also improve upon it in the picking up a handkerchief from the floor with his teeth he picked up a needle with his eyelids all the while balancing a bottle on his head another incident occurred at the school annual day function which displays such as versatile talents a famous actress and dancer rishyendramani by name was invited to perform for the fund raising function all arrangements were made tickets were sold people were gathering and a large crowd was expected at the last moment the dancer sent a word that due to her ill health she was unable to come to perform her name is rishyendramani that rishyendramani would not appear could create trouble from the disappointed crowds Satya offered to save the situation, suggesting that he would be happy to dance in Rishyendramani place. The desperate school administration, with no other alternative, immediately agreed. The spectacular thing about the actress's dance was that she could balance a plate. with a lighted lamp on top of a bottle on her head perfectly while keeping lighted lamps on the plate when such a perform the dance number the audience roared in applause according to standard biographical accounts the district collector a british officer merely walked up to the stage to present the dancer with a medal anxious to put it around her neck as no indian lady would ever allow a strange man to touch her person the actress insisted that the medal be given in her hand the poor collector walked away disappointed not recognizing that the lady hands were those of a small boy ramasubama the district education board president presented the prizes for the second day function she spoke in appreciation of the actress who had performed the previous day and acknowledged that the school building fund had been substantially increased with young dancers help wanting to honor her she announced that she would present the actress 
a silk sari. The actress' name was announced with a request that she appear on stage. The audience waited expectantly to see her emerge. In the midst of the excited crowd, Satya, walking towards the stage, was stopped by the police, who had no idea of the role he had enacted. The headmaster rescued him, took him to the stage, and proudly announced that it was he who had saved the day by performing the guise of the actress. See that Rama Subama complimented Satya for his performance and so developed great affection and regard for him. Because Satya did not consider his school to be different from his own family. Even at that young age, he took it upon himself to save the honor of his school and his teachers. When the time came, Satya did not have the minimum attendance for eligibility to take the qualifying examination from the Bukhapatnam school. However, he appeared for the examination the following year to take this elementary school leaving certificate ESLC examination. Students had to go all the way to Penagonda since it was the only center in that area to offer the examination. Satya was no exception. In years to come, he would recall this incident. These examinations were held at Penagonda. In those days, going to Penagonda was like going to America or Russia. It caused fear and anxiety. There were no roads or buses for going to Bukhapatnam. Perikonda, however, was connected with important places through a railway line that had then been laid. People talked with strange fears about the railway train. They used to come in bullock carts from the villages to see it. They said it had only one eye. It would run like a long cylinder and would appear and disappear on its own. The mother who gave birth to this body was worried, that is, Swami's mother, about sending her son every day to far off Bukhapatnam from Puttaparthi. She packed some food and gave the packet to him. There were no metal lunch boxes in those days and taking such food packets was the bad practice. The mother would prepare ragi balls with groundnut chutney. She would tie them up in old cloth and put them in my bag. When the lunch break was announced, the children would run to the water tank. The food in the cloth would be stuck to it and I would immerse the whole thing in water so that the food and the cloth would get separated. By the time the exercise was done, the lunch break would be over. At the time for going to Penagoda approach, the family was in tears. Venkama, Parvatama and others were worried that Penagoda may be too far. Such were the conditions in those days. To send me to Penagoda was like sending me to a foreign country. That's what Baba said. Preparations began for the journey to Penagoda. Eight of us planned to go from Pukapattam to Penagonda by Bula Kart. One teacher also agreed to come with us. The road was so bad that we would travel by car for a mile and then walk five miles. Most of our time was spent in getting into the car and out of it again. Perhaps it would have been better to walk the entire distance. As our teacher was good, he helped each student to get down from the cart when the road was bad. Likewise, he lifted each boy into the cart when the road was in bad condition. In this way, he underwent a lot of trouble. You see my height now? Baba says, I was even smaller and shorter than others who came with me were also small. They were also small. 
We start at 5 o'clock in the morning and traveling like this all through the long day, reach in Penuvanda at 9 o'clock at night. There were no facilities there, neither a bus stand nor a place to rest. There was a mango grove outside Penuvanda and we camped there. We slept under the bullock cart during the night. We had brought rice, chili powder and some spices with us. We cooked rice, mixed it with the powders and ate it. We spent two days this way, took the examination and returned home. Meanwhile, Shasham Razu, his brother, qualified himself as a Telugu scholar both in language and in literature. He had obtained a teaching position at Bukapatnam and was living there. Satya now called Razu by his school friends, stayed in Puttaparthi, who would often visit his brother's residence. As you know, he was called Satya earlier and from now on Razu. As a standard was the highest class at the Bukapatnam school, Shasham Razu decided to take Razu to Puravakonda, 139 kilometers away from Puttaparthi. Once he had obtained a teaching assignment there. In addition, the family thought the shift to Uravakanda would likely bring to rest the extraordinary powers that Satya called Razu was demonstrating at Puttaparthi. One of the reported incidents occurred during northern monsoon season. Razu's sister Venkamma was a building a house and there was still a large wall to be made and bricks were wet, waiting to be baked. The sky grew dark and menacing. A downpour would surely reduce all the bricks to a huge mound of clay. A helpful neighbor told Venkamma to cover the bricks with bundle of dry sugar cane leaves and recommended that a friend living on the outside at Chitravati be asked to provide them. A long line of men, women and children ran over the sands in a desperate hurry, with Razu joining them at the last moment. But when they got to the middle of the riverbed, he suddenly called out to everyone to stop. He called his sister Venkama. He said, Vana Radhu, it will not rain. A few quiet words from Razu, with his small arms raised against the dark sky for a moment, and up above the wind, the clouds and rain obeyed. The astonished group watched as the clouds scattered. The day brightened and threat was over. Everyone returned home with no bundles of leaves. Razu's artist talents were not limited to commercial advertisements and the school stage, but went far beyond these. Even as a small boy, he was audacious enough to write lampoons, lamenting the changes that had come about from abandoning the traditional style of dress. Speaking about these times, Baba would say later, yes, see that what, what Swami says. It seems the village head was full of vices in those days. And uh, he followed immoral way, thus wasting time. Swami wrote a song pointing out his mistakes and sang in front of his house and everybody heard it and that man could be reformed. The song says, shun the company of women of bad character or you are bound to degrade yourself. Your caste will not condone you. Your relatives will drive you out. Your friends will slipper you. Well, that was the meaning of this song. Thank you for your time. We'll meet later.